Good afternoon and welcome to our channel, thelatestnews.com. Today we are going to reveal some of the extraordinary news that was going through around the world. Please watch the video till the end and get all the latest updates on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. the Namib Desert. Located along southwestern Africa's Atlantic coast, the Namib Desert is one of the driest places on earth, meaning an area where there is nothing in the local Nama language. This Martian-like landscape of towering sand dunes, rugged mountains, and gravel plains stretches some 81 square kilometers across three countries. Dating back at least 55 million years, the Namib is Believed to be the world's oldest desert, the Sahara is thought to be the just 2-7 million years old, with summer temperatures routinely reaching 45 degrees Celsius and nights that can be... <laughs> dramatically into the ocean, the seemingly endless sea of silica stretches eastward from Namibia's Atlantic coastline, reaching up to 160 kilometers inland to the edge of southern Africa's great escarpment. Adaptable animals. The most arid parts of the Namib receive an average of just 2 millimeters of rainfall a year. During some years, parts of the desert receive none, but as if appearing out of a merge, animals like orcs, springbok, cheetahs, hyenas, ostriches, and zebras that have adapted to survive in these harsh conditions scamper across the desert. Ostriches raise their body temperatures to reduce their water loss. Hartman's mountain zebras are deft climbers that have adapted to the desert's rugged terrain, and orcs can survive for weeks without drinking by eating water rice foods like roots and tubers. The Gates of Hell One of the most treacherous areas of the inhospitable Nymph is, is a 500-kilometer expanse of soaring and dunes and rusting sheep holes along the Atlantic known as the Skeleton Coast. Stretching from southern Angola to central Namibia, the area takes its name from the many well carcasses scattered across its shores and the nearly 1,000 sheep works that have littered its coastline over the centuries. The stark skeleton coast is often surrounded in dense fogs created by the upwelling of the Atlantic Ocean's cold Bangola current, which clashes with the hot air from the interior of the Nime Desert. These fogs create dangerous navigation conditions for ships, and the local sand people have called the region the land god making anger. While sailing along Africa's western coast, famed Portuguese explorer Diogo Cao briefly stopped at the skeleton coast in 1486. After Cao and his men extracted a cross inscribed with Portuguese coat of arms, the Namib's daunting sand dunes and harsh climate quickly led them to turn back to the sea, but not before the famously calling the area the Gates of Hell. <laughs> 